Markets have been coming unglued. Today, we're going to be looking at a lot of cool data to help us find five of the best growth stock opportunities for the month of March. Let's get to it right now. So let's quickly look at the landscape and we know that the market has been for sale big time. And in fact, yesterday was the biggest sell day. That means the most number of stocks that got sold yesterday since the pandemic lows. If you don't believe me, just check out the pandemic lows, how big the sell off was compared to now. And you can see that there's probably some opportunity. So that was a lot of selling. So let's go ahead and whittle down on our first stock. So you saw all those red signals. Well, those are actual stocks and some of them were in the food and staples sector. Okay. So I've got 10 stocks here ranked from highest to lowest based on our map score, which is a really cool way to look at technicals and fundamentals in one composite score. But what you can see is that there are some stocks that score well technically, and some stocks that score well fundamentally, while there's other stocks that just don't score well at all with our process. So I'm zeroing in on amazon.com because it has a low map score, but we can see that it's being held down only due to technicals. The fundamental score looks really solid. So let's go do a deeper dive. Amazon.com is the number one growth opportunity that I see, and the stock needs no introduction. They are just this huge online retail giant, and also they've got this huge AWS cloud arm that is just growing like a weed. So basically, they have their tentacles all over the place. But if we look at the chart, we can see that there's been just a big up and down. Big money has been all over the place over the past year. And a lot of that is due to just a lot of rotational action. But if you go back and you start to see sometimes when this stock does get sold off, it can be a buying opportunity, right? So that's just looking at that technical action. You can see here there was a sell off here. There was a sell off followed by some of those green signals. But off to the right, we can see that this is telling us that it is or historically has been a great growth stock. That's what I call the stairway to heaven. These blue signals. Typically, when you see a stock high quality like Amazon sell off, usually the big money tends to find its way back into the company. But let's go ahead and look at the fundamentals and they are good across the board, but I'm really zeroing in on the two year versus one year EPS growth estimate of 47.9%. So basically they are estimated to grow in the years ahead. And that is very positive for a growth stock. And then it's obviously getting dinged technically because the stock hasn't made a new high in 241 days. I think that this sell off is an opportunity. All right. So the number two growth stock that we're going to be looking at is in the healthcare equipment space. Before I forget, if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It really helps us out. So I've got 10 healthcare equipment stocks and you can see that the map score ranges from 67 down to 50. So it's not too big of a range. You can see technically they have some stocks that are doing relatively well and a few that aren't doing so well. But on the fundamental side, across the board, the space looks relatively strong. And I think that opportunity is in this area. And the number two growth opportunity is Align Technology. And if you haven't heard about them, they are the invisible braces. They basically have these aligner trays that are straightening out people's teeth. You don't have to worry about the braces and all of that. So they have been growing like a weed and you can see just like a lot of growth stocks, they have been sold really, really hard. We can look back historically, they got sold here, the stock started to pop. So there could be opportunities when the stock sells off like it is. We can see that these blue signals, it's got a lot of them over the past. And that makes this stock an outlier. And that is the stairway to heaven. And if we look at the fundamentals, you can see it is green on the fundamental side and it is red on the technical side. So the first thing that's sticking out to me is the three year EPS growth rate is 86.4%. That is very strong and the fundamentals just tell you everything that you need to know sometimes. 
And then on the technicals, we can see that the stock is well below the 50-day, the 100-day, and the 200-day moving average. I think that this stock is a potential growth opportunity. So for the number three stock, we're gonna to go to a very hot space the past couple of years, and that has been specialty finance and services, i.e. the payment space, right? So you can see that I've got 10 stocks here. I own a bunch of these, and they have a map score of 62 all the way to 29. Now I'm gonna be focused on a stock that has relatively decent technicals and a strong fundamental backdrop. I'm not really interested in stocks that have a low fundamental score. Number three, I'm looking at Visa and full disclosure, I own this in personal and managed accounts. They have just been a dominant company. And if you're not familiar with them, they just have a huge payments network. So if you go to the store or you go to buy anything, chances are you're using a credit card and odds are it probably has the Visa logo on it. But let's just look at the stock over the past year. You can see it's had a really nice rise. Then it came under a lot of selling, ripped again, came up back into a lot of selling but you look historically what do we know about good potential stocks is generally whenever you see these sell-offs they can be opportunities and is it a quality stock well based on history we can see that it's got a lot of that blue signal that tells us that it is a fundamentally sound stock and you can see that it's got pretty strong scores on the fundamentals here. But what really, really jumps out at me is that profit margin of 49.8%. You know, basically they are a toll booth for money, if you will. So if we look over here to the right where they're getting dinged, you know, technically, as a lot of stocks are, it has been 222 days since they made their 52 week high. So I think that this is a potential growth opportunity on sale. So now let's turn our attention to food stocks. That's the hospitality services sector. You can see that we've got 10 names, basically fast food stocks. You know, how do they rank up? You can see that they've got a middle of the range score, and that's basically due to low technicals with decent fundamentals. So for this stock, I'm gonna be looking at a historical big time winner. And number four, we're looking at Domino's Pizza. And listen, it is very simple. They sell pizza. They're just a huge pizza chain, especially in the US. And look, this stock has been just a monster, monster winner. You can see that it had a lot of green coming in earlier in the year, just had some selling. But what do we see? Just like a lot of the stocks that we're showcasing, when these sell-offs come, it can mean opportunity. Off to the right here, you can see that it does have those blue signals that we like. And here's the thing. I did this cool study going all the way back to 2004, right? It's like a million years ago. Stock is up almost 5,000%. This has been one of the biggest winning stocks of all time. Full disclosure, I own it. I've been owning it for a number of years, but let's look under the hood really quickly. And the first thing that really sticks out to me is that three-year EPS growth rate of 16.9%. And then we look over here, where is it getting dinged technically? It is basically because the last buy signal was on July 22nd, 2021. So it has been many months since this stock has had any buying whatsoever. We look at that over here. So it's getting dinged technically, but I think you wanna be betting on historical winners in this type of environment. And for the number five potential growth stock, we're gonna be looking at semiconductors and we're looking at the electronic components and manufacturing area, right? And this has a lot of stocks that we are familiar with and what really drives home what's important to me about semiconductors is that the fundamental scores have been very, very strong across the board. And whenever we got this semiconductor shortage, I think that these companies could potentially benefit over the long term. But now let's get into the stock that I'm really interested in. They say go for the best of breed when markets are under pressure. For number five, we're looking at NVIDIA Corp. And this has been one of the best outlier stocks out there. And you can see that with a fundamental score of 79%. This has just been a great stock. Basically, they're just this 
high performance chip maker, GPUs, they're all over the gaming market. They basically are all over AI, anything that's high performance, you better believe Nvidia has something to do with it. And you can see this thing is a big money magnet. Look at this, lots and lots of green. Obviously it's getting sold just like everything else. But what do we know? These big red sell-offs tend to be opportunities. And if you wanna see a lot of blue, look none further than here. This might be the goat. That is the stairway to heaven. Nvidia is just so stinking dominant. And you look at these fundamentals, I mean, green, green, green. Look at this, the one year sales growth is 61%. And you can see that the three year EPS growth is just about 48%. That is clocking big time. Where are they getting punished? Obviously it's technicals, just like everything else. And you can see that this stock is at $213, which is well below the 50-day, 100-day, and the 200-day moving average. So I think this could be a potential long-term opportunity. Great stock, NVIDIA. So there you have it. Those are five of the best growth stock opportunities that I can find. And using data really helps us make sense of this crazy market. Now, if you like scoring stocks, you're probably gonna like scoring ETFs. So make sure to check out Jason's ETF opportunities. I'll leave a card here that you can check out, but he does some really cool stuff with data. And if you want more market insights, Every Sunday, we release a new video talking about what's going on in the market from the lens of data. Make sure to check that out. It's released on Sunday at 2 p.m. I will see you guys next time.